Good morning, folks. Waking up in Denver after a great time at the Denver Waldorf School yesterday. I'll be flying out to San Francisco for today's event this afternoon. See you guys out there. Also, got about half of a fly on the wall recorded before I had to catch my plane yesterday. I'll get that uploaded for you guys in a few hours. So it was not a completely inactive day on our star. We have an umbral field build, expand, and snap. For as violent as this quick eruption was, however, there was no significant CME associated with it. But apart from that, it was another calm day. Sea flares only. The sunspots are out in full force, though, and just not firing. At this moment, I cannot isolate a single Delta class area in any sunspot group. The closest we come is actually not the Gamma group out front, but these two beta spots trailing behind them. Close interaction potential. Those two also outshine the lone trailing active region on the south. Sitting in the spotless area is the primary coronal hole. Now exiting, having driven a quake watch uptick, we await its solar wind stream. And speaking of which, the speed of the solar wind has trailed off as the last coronal hole stream ends. In calmer conditions, settling in now here on the electron flux with Earth's magnetic shield having no trouble this morning, according to the KP. We'll come back to polar ice again as this cold event deviation up north continues, making up ground on past years, still below average though. Meanwhile, the Antarctic ice has mirrored last year's trend and has begun soaring above past year's totals. I've also got linked for you a gravity map article and how they will hunt geothermal energy sources underground with a satellite orbiting high above. By tonight, the United States will look like this. A couple of low-pressure nodes create a larger-scale vortex and shifts into the southeast today. Cold air mixed into where the heat and moisture races north out of the Gulf. This area could see tornadoes tonight, severe storms at the very least. In Europe, please note a tiny low near France and then the major flow north of that coming across and then down into the continent. I'll pull up your purple weather alerts for tonight so you can see how well it matches. In Australia, we see a convergence that cuts past New Zealand and up along the coastline. The precipitable water overlay indicates that it wraps around to the other coastlines as well. Here's your overnight and morning watches from the convergence, right on that same line. We've got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. Details for our West Coast stops are found at observatoryproject.com. Eyes open. No fear, it's 3.35 a.m. Mountain Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.